Paradise. The brothers of Zeus, Poseidon, aka Neptune, and Hades, aka Pluto. Poseidon was the ruler of the sea, Zeus's brother and second only to him in eminence. The Greeks on both sides of the Aegean were seamen, and the god of the sea was all important to them. His wife was Amphitrite, a granddaughter of the Titan Ocean. Poseidon had a splendid palace beneath the sea, but he was an oftener to be found in Olympus. Besides being lord of the sea, he gave the first horse to man, and he was honored as much for the one as for the other. Lord Poseidon, from you this pride is ours. The strong horses, the young horses, and also the rule of the deep. Storm and calm were under his control. He commanded, and the storm wind rose, and the surges of the sea. But when he drove in his gold car over the waters, the thunder of the waves sank into stillness, and tranquil peace followed his smooth rolling wheels. He was commonly called Earth Shaker, and was always shown carrying his trident, a three-pronged spear, with which he would shake and shatter whatever he pleased. He had some connection with bulls as well as with horses, but the bull was connected with many other gods too. Hades was the third brother among the Olympians, who drew for his share the underworld and the rule over the dead. He was also called Pluto, the god of wealth, and of the precious metals hidden in the earth. The Romans as well as the Greeks called him by this name, but often they translated it into dis, the Latin word for rich. He had a far-famed cap or helmet, which made whoever wore it invisible. It was rare that he left his dark realm to visit Olympus or the Earth, nor was he urged to do so. He was not a welcome visitor. He was unpitying, inexorable, but just a terrible, not an evil god. His wife was Persephone, whom he carried away from the Earth and made queen of the lower world. He was the king of the dead, not death himself, whom the Greeks called Thanatos and the Romans Orcus.